Good afternoon, folks. Thank you for your patience today. For those who are new here, it's the first full day of the latest solar flare and earthquake watch. We'll come back to the sun. Before the official watch began, a 6.1 struck Peru. Then, just as universal time crested 11.11, the moon conjoined Venus and the quake watch began with either a powerful series of earthquakes in Myanmar or a very long tremor. Initially, the readings came back 6.8, 6.6, Nearly half a minute later, the strength was reading 7.0 on multiple moment magnitude readers. Here we go. Primary weather feature in Europe is this long southern extension of the low pressure system, still bringing that Mediterranean air northward. Purple is your highest chances for precipitation. The time has shifted here where the lone focus is not just Antarctic lows, but tropical lows as well. This one happens to be bringing very warm weather to the northwest. What's up, Tulsa? By now, this convergence has likely moved eastward. Warm southern air is hitting whatever is left of Brutus, and those in tonight's watch zones may actually see some tornadoes this evening. Lone ionospheric news of the day is that the F1 layer critical frequency is, once more, of concern. When we take a look at the whole year, for those who are new here might not look abnormal, but those who have seen solar system shift and similar videos recognize this as the peak reading's last solar maximum. Solar Flare Watch got started a bit early with an M flare this morning. There is more on the way, but first, you remember this Hydra flare from yesterday, pushing a CME right at Earth, another little eruption at the end. These larger circles often indicate an imminent impact of a CME, so it may be early as well. Well, what happened down in the south when the big active regions are up north? Oh, that happened. These sunspots developed so rapidly, it's Tough to sit here and call a magnetic class knowing it might be different in three hours, but right now luckily it's just beta. A scary beta, but blue and red are easily separated. The three leading umbra up north are nicely developed, individually monopolar. They would need to do some morphing to become dangerous. But in addition to the heliocentric conjunctions, I say more flares are coming because it has been many weeks since I've seen a leviathan creeping over the limb like that. This will start the show. By the way, mid-sized coronal hole facing Earth in the last day. Her solar wind stream is already headed at Earth. To top it off, we have a little new CME headed our way, right there at the end. Other satellites aren't updated yet, but this is directly Earth-facing, probably coming right at us. Eyes open, no fear. It's just after lunchtime on the U.S. East Coast, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.